afternoon. Our call to worship today is found in Psalm 89, verses 1 and 2. Hear now the word of the Lord. I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth I will make your faithfulness known to all generations. I will declare that your love stands firm forever, that you establish your faithfulness in heaven itself. Please join me in a word of prayer. At peace with my God, but how can it be except for the love of Jesus for me? Anxiety gone, sins under the blood, and I am at peace, at peace with my God. Gracious Lord, this afternoon we've come to celebrate the life of Major Langford. I thank you, Lord, for the sincerity, the reliability, the dependability that he showed throughout his life. I thank you for the man he was. I thank you for the calling that he pursued. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for those he persuaded in his life, in his ministry, to you and to your kingdom. Because, Lord, I know right now he is celebrating all that can be celebrated in life. He knows what life truly is. We rejoice over the victory that he has. We rejoice over that promotion to glory, to eternity that he now has experienced. His great reward. We, we rejoice for him. But equally, Lord, we want to pray for those who are here, those who are mourning. We pray, Lord, for Elaine, for her family. For Stephen, for his family, for Scott and his family, Lord, they're the ones right now who are feeling the pain, the separation, the loss uh, of Sid being in heaven with you. My prayer, Lord, is now for them, that you'll give them that wonderful peace. And for all of us, Lord, that in this time of grief, that there might be an understanding of what there is to be, of the reward that is to be had. And so, Lord, as we go through this, this ceremony, through this service, this remembrance, if you will, may it not be lost on anybody that Sid's hope was always in you, that our hope is always in you. And if there's anyone, Lord, that doubts that, may they come to a greater understanding, at least to deep a question as to what is next. Please, Lord, put that upon our hearts celebrate the life of sin. I pray this in Jesus' name. 